Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. In this video, I am going to show you how you can recover the Kali Linux, sorry, the deleted files or Kali Linux. So basically, uh, here you can have a look at, I have attached a USB uh, to this drive, uh, to the computer basically. I am going to insert some files inside it, then uh, we'll delete it inside the Kali Linux. Suppose I am going to copy these two files uh, and then paste it here it also the trash icon and around the same time time uh, i'm going to put some medias like uh suppose these uh files or basically these media files uh okay and how about the pdf file too that will be uh good too i'm going to insert some of the pdf files uh to uh inside there so basically i'm going to put these two cc uh na and ccnp books that i have uh, so so here you can have a look at I have visited around nine files and now you can see that the size is 15.9 megabyte is written down here so I'm going to connect it to the call Linux and then I'll be deleting them inside the call Linux and then I'm going to recover them so without wasting enough time let's begin so I'm using call Linux 2021.1 uh, but I have updated the tools which are installed inside it so I'm going to make it, okay, hold on a moment. Before making it full screen, uh, make sure that you have to connect the USB to the uh, Kali Linux itself. So removable devices, uh, yep. And now connect and okay. Okay, everything is totally done right now and then make it full screen. And here you can have a look at that. We have the USB flash drive attached to the Kali Linux. So let's, okay, here you can see that uh nine items and it's showing that it is around 19 megabyte okay so i'm going to delete them Control a right click and then choose move to trash everything is gone now also delete it from the trash like trash can uh and then empty trash and empty trash and nothing is there so nothing is there so how we can recover them basically there are multiple tools that are available in calling so you can use uh, to recover them but i'm going to use a very small tool oh one more thing i forgot uh, i am uh, logged in with the root privileges uh, remember that you have to make sure that you are logged in with the root privileges otherwise uh, if you are uh, logged in with the basic user which is kali then at that time you will face a lot of issues specifically the files that are recovered uh, you cannot see them so make sure that you are logged in with the root privileges otherwise uh, you will face a lot of difficulties so i'm also going to make sure the font is uh, a bit larger so let's make it 14 uh, okay 4 and 10 and okay and okay okay now everything is applied let's begin the process the first step is that we have to uh, Go to the desktop, simply type CD desktop and then press enter. Now I'm going to create a new directory by the name of mkdir. Uh, sorry, mkdir is basically the command to create a new directory. And the directory will be called recovers. So okay, here you can see that the directory has been created. Now we have to basically move to the uh, directory that we just created recovers and then press enter. So right now we are here now i'm going to simply uh, clear all the other stuff so that we make sure that we are there okay the next thing is that we have to uh, basically uh, find out that how many disks are basically attached to the computer so you have to type fdisk l and then press enter so at the moment you can see that uh, there are basically only uh, two hard drives attached to this computer so basically here you can see that this is the disk one and here is also the disk two and remember that sorry here is the disk one i'm really sorry about that one uh okay hold on a moment yep so here you can see that basically this is uh the disks the default disk basically uh the drive sorry the linux is booted inside this one here you can see that there is the linux extended and then linux web and there is also the uh usb flash drive here you can see that the size is uh 15.2 megabyte we need this part so simply copy this part because we are going to recover files from this directory so right click and then copy selection or Control shift c uh, either one can work okay now <clears throat> once we are here we have to i'm going to so going to clear that one uh we need to basically uh 
the tool that we are going to use to recover it uh, that is basically for most the very first thing is that you have to install for most uh, simply type sudo apt install for most and then press enter at, at the moment i have already installed it so there is no need for me here but instead uh, i'm going to bring out the uh, attributes that we need basically to use it to recover files so simply type for most dash help sorry still it can do but make sure you type help help not help like me okay however mm, yeah it has shown the result totally okay so here you can see that there are the attributes that are listed here but we need uh this one basically t stands for the target you can see that it's saying that you have to specify the file type uh by typing dash t so you can put jpeg pdf png or whatever file of extension and there's also verbose remember that we also need this command and we have also to put an output the output will be basically the uh, recovers drive that we just created a moment ago so once everything is re uh, ready simply come here and type for most uh, dst now what type of files you want to recover uh, if you want to just recover pdf files so you can here you can see that just simply type them and you are good to go however i am not going to recover the uh, sorry recovers so the very first thing is that you have to type for most and then you have to type dash t which is basically the target the target uh, is basically what type of uh, files basically you want to recover if you want to recover all type of files simply type all if you want to simply type a single type of file like jpeg like png like pdf just simply type that extension in the end and i is basically here you can see that i is basically the input basically the drive that you deleted files from there so it will be the drive c that we copy sorry the pen drive that we just copied the part with the i disk command uh, sorry f disk dash r dash l and uh, v is basically verbose and o is basically uh, the output directory the output is basically root desktop and then recovers here you can see that now everything is okay uh, and then press enter now it is going to recover them uh, so this is really going to take a lot of time but most of the time it depends on the amount of files that are deleted from the uh, directory so for some reason uh, i think last time i only performed uh, recovered only two pdf files and it took around uh, one hour so that is quite really a lot of time so you have to make sure that uh, these things should not happen uh, so that the very first thing is that you have to make sure that you have a lot of time and do not cancel it during the uh, basically during the recovering files maybe they will they will be corrupted or for some reason so it is going to take a lot of time so in the meantime you can also see that uh, all the directories that basically they have recovered here so you can see that uh, all the extensions that are listed here uh, let's see i think uh, png where is png or pdf files yeah here you can see that these are basically the those uh, cisco files that basically i inserted them here so here you can see that that they are recovered and how about the jpg where is jpg jpg what about png hold on yeah here you can see that basically this is the uh, logo that i inserted here and there's also the other picture that basically i downloaded from uh i think my design look no, i basically i have not remembered the name sorry and uh, what about where is jpg jpg i cannot find it here or yeah here it is jpg yeah here you can see that the two other photos that were deleted i just deleted manually uh what's here in these things i think there was a document file yeah docx uh yeah unfortunately i cannot open them inside the Kali linux but they can be opened inside windows uh as the extension is basically uh, that is not supported in Kali linux what about the uh yeah here is the xls which is the excel file and yet it has not recovered them so basically the flash that i am using here is uh, using a uh, very a lot of so for the moment i'm going to cancel it uh, by pressing ctrl c you can break the operation yep 
so here you can see that uh, these question mark that you can see they are basically files name that were named Persian uh, in, in the Persian language so I cannot even see <laughs> the part where I inserted the command so so here you can see that basically this is how you can recover uh, the deleted files sorry the deleted files inside Kali Linux uh, using the foremost command first make sure uh, let me I have to make it uh, summarize for you first make sure that you are logged in with the Kali Linux root privileges first and then second thing is that uh, you have to launch terminal and install foremost command uh, sorry foremost tool and then the third thing is that make sure let me have to uh, a bit show in practical practical so the next thing is uh, so sudo apt install foremost make sure that you install it and once you install that one uh, make sure that you know uh, the uh, usb or the, the hard drive that's attached to the computer or if you are recovering files from the main drive so here you can see that you can also recover it from there but as i said before they are going to take quite a lot of time and uh, finally once you are done with them uh, come here and simply type foremost uh, dash help and here you can see that all the attributes that are needed to basically recover the files uh, and once you are done simply uh, type for most dash t which is basically uh, yeah here you can see the command basically t is the target i is the uh, do, uh, the location of the device where the files are deleted v is verbose and o is output so here you can see everything is basically inserted here so this is basically how you can uh, recover deleted files inside the kali linux so uh, if you guys think that video is really helpful to you do not forget to subscribe into our youtube channel and i'll meet you guys in the next video so have a nice day Goodbye and take care.